So, he pretty much admitted to having a dude in his hotel, and you can put the two together. Benzino is one of the few celebrities who publicly defended Diddy after his recent arrest. Hey, I f with Diddy. I'm gonna f how y'all feel about Diddy. In the Miami show, when asked about Diddy's situation, Benzino tried to play it off, saying he'd stand up for anyone or that he was just looking out for any black person in that position. Do you believe that P. Diddy is innocent? I believe any m is innocent until proven guilty. The only thing Diddy can go down for, and this is it, is if there was a young girl in one of them parties and they could prove on one of them planes and they could prove she was young. But here's the real question. Does Benzino have some sort of relationship with Diddy that he's trying to keep quiet? After all, his career is basically dead, and one more mistake could make sure it stays that way. Their relationship isn't something you'll find in the headlines, but if you dig a little deeper, it seems like there might be more going on behind the scenes. We all know Diddy has been involved in some weird stuff over the years, whether it's offering money for strange favors or just generally being wrapped up in controversial rumors. What happened? Like, no, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now, I've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm so. On the other side, you've got Benzino, whose career has been completely dead for a while now. He's even reportedly left in debt after all the damage to his reputation. Even Eminem, in his diss track aimed at Benzino, made a subtle reference to Diddy. It was almost like a nod to something bigger happening behind closed doors, something we're only now starting to see unfold. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. When I talk about all the debt you win, I hear that you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog, when you said you ten, never guess you meant at the Red Wolf in a room with one single bed to mint. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Was that just a coincidence? Maybe, or maybe there's a deeper connection between these two that's been kept under wraps. Benzino, for his part, claims that his relationship with Diddy was purely professional. Me and Diddy, me and Diddy got a song together. Diddy did a song. Me and Diddy really never, never really kicked in this shit. Like it was always me and Stevie, or me and Mario. Mm. Like me and Stevie got cool because you know what I'm saying. Like Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. You know what I'm saying. He's his own type of lane. Like me and Stevie kind of related more. But during an interview, when he was asked if he ever attended one of Diddy's famous parties, things got weird. At first, he flat out denied it, but then hesitated and admitted he went to just a little one, emphasizing not at Diddy's crib. Probably he was scared of the baby oil. You ever been to a Diddy party? Nah. I went party to, party? Okay, so I went to one, but not at his crib. It was, he had at this, it was at Nas was there. Um, it was at somewhere in Manhattan. But I never been to no crib party or nothing like that. Like, did he really? Then, almost as if he realized he was saying too much, he quickly added that he didn't see anything sketchy. Specifically, he mentioned there was nothing like the baby oil rumors people talk about. That's a pretty random thing to bring up, don't you think? His nervousness just makes the whole situation feel even more suspicious. So, why is Benzino going out of his way to defend Diddy? You might think it's for clout, or maybe he wants some kind of business deal out of it. But Benzino isn't that dumb. He's already gone after Eminem before, and it cost him everything. His career, his reputation, even his relationship with his daughter. I'm on Rolling Stone breaking all kinds of records, and this bitch-ass nigga, Benzino, wants to fucking come online and start fucking with me, bro. Instead of being a father and just supporting from that side, you still want to be bitter. That's why you burn all your fucking relationships, my nigga. And that's why my career, yo, bro, I have to really bend my back and make sure niggas can fucking understand me as a person. Because at the end of the day, I don't want my father's relationships and the bridges he burnt to affect me. There's no way he's going to make that same mistake again, especially not with something as messy as Diddy's case. What seems more likely is that Benzino's playing the long game here. While most celebs are staying quiet, he's the one speaking out, defending Diddy. But he probably knows that the federal agents have a list of people connected to Diddy's case, and he's trying to separate himself from the pack. Now, Combs did not do this all on his own. As I mentioned, Combs has been charged with RICO conspiracy. He used his business and employees of that business and other close associates to get his way. The indictment alleges that those individuals facilitated the freak offs. This office is determined to investigate and prosecute anyone who engages in sex trafficking, no matter how powerful or wealthy or famous you may be. No one should doubt our commitment on that. 
If things go south, he can say, look, I wasn't involved, I was defending him in public. It's a smart move because later on, he can argue that the internet spun things out of control and that any rumors about him were just faceless. And unlike others in the industry, Benzino doesn't have a huge safety net, no massive fortune or fan base to lean on. He has to be more calculated, and this might just be his way of protecting himself from any fallout. By acting like the good guy now, he's setting up a narrative that could keep him out of trouble later. It's risky, but for someone in his position, it might be his only option. So, what do you think? Is Benzino genuinely defending Diddy? Or is this just a desperate attempt to save himself from getting dragged into something bigger? Let me know in the comments.